the, since Fable's an actual home brewer, I decided to show him Warhammer 40k Chapter Master. Unfortunately, it's not something we'll be able to ever play, and I really, really wish GW would get on making a game like this, but we'll head on. The closest thing I suppose we got is Road Trader, and that's not at all close to what it should Onward, be. Yeah. I, honestly, if someone made a mod like mixing a bunch of the games together to turn it into that, I would be fine with that. I would be completely fine with this. But yeah. And so would Fable. He would just make his homebrew. Or his homebrews. Because he's making another homebrew Space Marine chapter. Do you wish there was a Master of Orion 2, but for Warhammer 40k? Well, I have good news because it's out there. Sort of. Once Upon a Time was a fan-made game, which then became a mod, and now it's been dead for many years. The idea started as one of those fake internet game ideas that gets around like Pressure or King of the Hill Online. But this King one of the Hill real, online. like Space Station 13 or Ed and Eddie Online. I can't believe that's an actual thing. Oh boy. Apparently there was also a Family Guy online, which is... I don't know why. So it began as a standalone game. That ended when Games Workshop caught wind of it and CND'd the project. Yeah. They're very aggressive when it comes to defending their IP. They don't want to be caught sleeping again. So Chapter Master... There, yeah, there is actually a pretty good reason why they're very hard on defending their IP, because you remember StarCraft, right? Yeah. Uh, StarCraft was originally started as a Warhammer game. Interesting. Like, you can tell by the shape of the armor and some of the enemies, that's very clearly supposed to be originally Warhammer. Died, and then there was not infringement infringing interstellar army simulator oh that one happened to get a chapter master mod a little bit later so really this is a mod review sure some websites might call it a game but no this is a mod unfortunately buddy we have to say this we have to say this that it is a mod <clears throat> space marines are the superhuman hulk hogan's with 40 trucks worth of steel <laughs> and you're in charge you have a lot of playable options you can choose a group from the lore including some obscure ones or pick a fan-made one <laughs> of course, you can also make a custom chapter, and this gets extensive. You can oh, I saw my boys, the Lamenters, and I think I also saw the symbol of the Cacaridons. But yeah, look at this, Fable. Look how in-depth this is. The Cacaridons. Yes. It actually does look really good, actually. Bigger or less likely to mutate. Maybe you see the option for, and home and for a home world, a fleet thing. That's interesting. <laughs> Shitty luck. This is actually really helpful and beneficial for your chapter. Trust me. Uh, this is something that the Lamenters unfortunately have. But yeah, they can add traits just to your faction. Or to your chapter. The Grain Knight's Demon Hunter is the closest thing to chapter. It's interesting. Hmm. This is only the beginning. What's your battle barge called? What kind of world do you recruit from? How do you train the recruits? What kind of magic are you into? Does your oh. chapter have mutations? Are they allergic to shellfish? Mm -hmm. There is a staggering level of detail down to making your own custom units. Look at Never this. Never has it been easier to make the chapter of your dreams or the Eldar's nightmares. <laughs> it's not necessary. <laughs> the Eldar's get... nightmares. Just finally deal with the Eldar. Through every little detail, but you can if you want. When your paperwork is finally done, you can start the game. So let's talk about the presentation. It's definitely a fan game. Artwork is taken from manuals, games, websites, and god knows where. So the actual quality and resolution can definitely jump all over the place, but it's still Warhammer. It is cool that you can see all the individual equipment your marines have. That is really mods cool. out there to make these even higher resolution, but uh -huh. haven't used any. In contrast to that, the ground battles are very abstract. The lines just represent the formations of both armies. So your imagination will have to be the graphics engine here. Unfortunately. On the other side, the fleet battles show a lot more. You see missiles fire off, fighters dogfight. It's a lot more visually satisfying. Both kinds of battles play themselves out, so all you need to do is watch it. Now, how about the sound? I mean... It's a mod. Well, there's only one sound effect in the game, and that's for a menu. Hmm. Oh my god, there's a- that's the emblem of the angry marines. Hmm. I want to show Fable one thing I found while looking at the Angry the Marines. Other games, so not much here. It is fitting music, but it's going to be a quiet game. 
Yeah, that's all there is to say, so here's how it's played. As chapter master, you have hundreds, possibly thousands of marines to command. A lot can be sorted out just fine, but if you want, you can manage the marines down to their individual weapons and equipment. Which Most is of crazy. your marines will be in your fleet, and you can unload them on planets to do activities. This could be for exploring, recovering artifacts, completing a mission, or just fortifying a planet in case bad men show up. It's a turn-based game, so you'll have a lot of time to think it all through. Besides hmm. just managing your angry refrigerators, you also need to balance <laughs> diplomacy. I love the saying angry refrigerators. For example, you can recruit new marines, but you need permission, because all these planets belong to the Imperium of Man. And if they're yeah. unhappy, you won't get more recruiting worlds, but there's more. To transform recruits into space marines, you need gene seed. Creating new ones not from dead marines takes a long time, but you still need to pay some to the Adeptus Mechanicus. Without their support, you can't get land- I want this game, Cohen. I wish it was real, too. Raiders, tech priests, and everything else that makes your armored division so strong. So it's usually nice for you to keep all these factions happy, but it's hard to pull off. You can't keep you everyone happy. You might missions that are far away from each other. This might be hard to do in time as one Doom fleet, but splitting them up means there's a risk of them dying. And this assumes that everyone is happy and we're all on the same page here. That doesn't yeah. happen as often as you hope. Like when the Inquisition tells you to purge a planet they don't like. Planetary governors usually have a lot going on. You roll up on a city and nuke a few million or billion people to make Tyranids go away, and the Imperium understands that. It's like changing your oil, you just gotta do it. But mm -hmm. when you keep assassinating governors and the new <laughs> chapter starts something called Crystal Knock Thursdays, well, they get Crystal. pissed off. So you can't be evil all the time until your favorite politician says it's okay. If you don't have tact, you might be labeled as a renegade. Then you have to talk to the kids who smoke during geography class. <laughs> Heretics. The kids that smoke during geography. Threat to set against loyalist forces for me. If not since the horse here, you're personally responsible for several rebellions. We have not met before. Biggie's Supreme... Brig Supremus, but until now we have been troublesome. I oh, me or have at least no to laugh at you has been long since heresy. Oh. I don't think so. <laughs> you can give greater humanity the finger and try to build everything on your own, but it makes things harder. This game is all about making the best possible decision in horrible scenarios. Heretic that makes issues? Sense. You could bomb them from orbit, or you could be more subtle. Why bomb a planet over a governor when you can replace them with a puppet that'll serve you? Then it turns out what you thought was some people setting animals on fire was an entire Chaos Space Marine Legion incursion. Oh. They wiped out the Purge team and launched their fleet. We should have bombed them when we had the chance. You have to make it all happen, and no matter what, a lot of good people are going to die. That is usual. We're trying to this by being more unconventional. We can negotiate with the enemy. Maybe give them a chaos. Oh no. Oh shit. I swear I didn't touch it. I didn't touch, I just looked at it. Oh god, please. No, daddy, no! <laughs> oh, the fucking Inquisition. Ugh. Well, guess what can usually cause your chapter to fall to pieces, Fable? Not my chapter. The Inquisition gets spanked every time they talk to me. Okay, oh, so God. the Inquisition cool. doesn't trust you, and they want your artifacts real bad. Yeah. Artifacts are powerful items, and everyone wants them. Many are powerful war gear pieces, and can make your superhumans even more superhuman. Some are oh. clearly tainted by the evil of chaos, or at least possessed by some kind of demon. So you might go, I should break that, and then, oops, you've summoned a greater demon aboard your strike cruiser. Oh no! It the occasion by vomiting acid on all your crew members. So these things are dangerous, but powerful and valuable. So you're supposed to give them to the Inquisition to do whatever they want to do with them. But since they're apparently hoarding Tyranids away, I don't want them to have anything. Yeah, they, they do shit like that all the time. Let's be honest. You fear psychers accidentally summoning demons yeah. or exploding into demons, so you have to think around that. Psychers exploding into demons is... Not as common, but it's definitely horrifying. So how do we not give it to the Inquisition, but also Listen, it happened one time. One time. It happened more than one time. No, I mean, it happened one time on my planet. Don't see me complaining. Oh my god. You can't build an Imperial Worlds immediately, but you can build black sites on dead asteroids. I just need to make sure no prying eyes come. So now any borderline heretical thing I find or build can now be stuffed away. And this is all just dealing with your allies, not counting all the enemies you're actually supposed to be fighting. Oh yeah. Even though combat does play itself out, you still have a lot of influence over it. There are countless different ways to put your troops in formation, and you can make different strategies depending on what you have and who you're fighting. Not to mention all the auxiliary troops you can throw in there. Why oh, the sisters of battle. Stuff someone into a dreadnought? It's just <laughs> such a rich game with so many different things that can happen. Weather report, the material plane is breaking down. Well, there can't be worse news than that today. Oh, look. What, they found my stash? How did you find my stash? Oh, god damn it. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot wrong with this game. Calling the interface clunky would be generous. A lot is based in RNG. You can accidentally win the game early on and not know it. Check the masters from the crashing, and it could just change. That's so funny. <laughs> That's amazing. The yeah. fact that you can accidentally win the game without knowing it. 
Yeah, I'd say that's pretty funny. Be buggy. The most famous of these bugs is the Guardsman planet. Oh. Not only could the Guardsman cover the planet, but there were more Guardsmen than there are atoms in the universe. <laughs> and there were still orcs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the mod has problems. It will be a shorter video because it doesn't feel fair to go into detail on all those issues. Because why it's like this is obvious. It's not done. It will likely never be done. It's not hard to find placeholders or missing tooltips or missing images. It's an incredible passion project, and it's understandable why it couldn't be finished. It's incredible that's even, even in this it... primitive, buggy, unfinished state. It's still yeah. a ton of fun. I've had more fun playing this than some 4X games I've paid for. The formula of being space police, having to balance between factions and not really paint the map with an empire is just so interesting to play. You have so much to manage and do that something is always coming up, and you get that just one more turn feeling playing it. Yeah, I get that a lot too. when playing some strategy games where I just feel one more turn and then I'll go to sleep. Because the legend of Chapter Master lives on. Like our technology in 40k, it's scattered. There's the latest standalone version, the latest mod version, unofficial patched versions, and yeah, the messed up chaos versions that barely work at all. Then there's all the remake attempts, and don't get me started on those. I followed this game since the day it came out. I still can't tell you what the definitive version is because there isn't one. Technically, Maybe it's point six five five. Well, yeah, but it's kind of like Star Wars. People have made so many overwrites to it. All I know is that it's clear people love this. I wonder game. if someone made a Stellaris version of a mod for Warhammer mod. Probably. Yeah, clamoring for more. There's so much out there. No worries, right? guys. Still find uh, a lot of design documents from people. Even who though said, we we'll found this Chapter one Master, item that makes everyone sad, sad in a couple past, years, they'll totally benefit us completely. I promise. Oh my God, Fable! Stop messing around with powerful artifacts. They're gonna get you killed. That is Stellaris. I've watched the video or two about it. That's essentially how it works. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> I've tried playing Stellaris, but all that happened is I tried to build an empire and well, then I died. Out there. Maybe one day this formula will be cloned with an original IP. Yeah, it's... An official 40k game like this would be great, but who knows if that'll happen. What else can I say? Sure, I wish things had been different, but what's still here is fantastic. Warhammer Winter has begun. The next Warhammer game will be a lot more straightforward than this one, but I'll have more to talk about. The Lamenter game. Oh, just kidding, it's Ultramarines again. Dear God, we need to stop using Ultramarines. <sighs> My poor boys. At least I'll be able to make my boys when Space Rain 2 comes out. But yeah. Well, Mick. Glad he says you're lying to me and want to keep all the power to yourself. Well, don't believe Platty because he lives in a dumpster. Yes, but you want to steal my power. Oh, and I don't want to steal your power. I don't you. want your power. I have enough power of my own, thank you very much. Anyway, thank you all so much, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good day, and if you like us well enough, check out the Patreon. Every single Thursday, I upload a new video there. Or two. Or three sometimes. Anyway, thank you all so much. Don't trust my prey, I'm going to put... Anyway. Thank you oh all so God. much, and we're going to raid someone. I don't know who at this point. Uh, why did we get these wings? They're not even that cool. I don't know. Why did you? I didn't buy them. What the hell is only cans? The thirst gate. What the f anyway. I've raided him. I'm like trying to think of who I haven't raided in a while. You know what? We'll send you all to Kai. Have fun with Kai. And be nice to him. He's a good guy. Caiaphas Kane? No, You're not the Imperium? No, not Caiaphas Kane. Kai, 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 Kane. You're of the Imperium. Anyway, thank you all so much, and I still have this video running, I just realized, god damn it, I'm, I'm sorry, it was uh, fun.